What's going on guys, my name is Hovik, and I was just editing and I came across a problem that probably a lot of people come across. I know it happens to me all the time. Uh, on Monofree 3, usually when you're editing, the kill feeds really fade it, if you know what I mean. Like, it's really hard to see it half the time. So, um, what I want to do is like, especially on Village, Village is like really bad for, uh, for looking at the kill feed. So what I want to do was make it so it was more defined, and there's, I've been seeing people do it couple different ways and one of the ways is uh is making like the gun do the glowy pop out thing so I, I just tried that out real quick while I was editing and it looked pretty good so I thought I'd make a tutorial on it uh, after I just figured out, out how to do it it's not really anything special but it will be a quick tutorial I'll get into it and it's gonna look like this here let me just run preview this this isn't like anything specially edited it's just um hang on if you saw the kill feed right there, it was all glowy and kind of blue, like right there. You can see it. It's like really defined. You can see it well. So I'm gonna show you to do that real quick. So I'm just gonna make a new composition, and I'll just make it a much long. I'll name it tutorial. Uh, tutorial. Whoops, I can't type. All right, here we are. I'm just gonna drag in. A clip I'll drag in the village clip I was just using and I'll just slow motion the part wherever the kill feed happens where you can't see it so right there I'll twixter that real quick so effects are you plugins twixter 59.94 keyframe that go forward one frame okay I'm gonna do it nine percent speed okay now we got our we got our clip to extra out and you can't really see the actually let me do something okay right there I'm gonna twix it actually so right there we got the kill feed but on village as you, as you can see you can barely see it and a lot of people won't even be able to t be able to tell that he got a good feed or something so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new solid layer new solid and it doesn't matter what color it is so you're just going to disable the layer by clicking the eyeball and select your pen tool and we're going to zoom in I just do alt and then scroll in with your mouse and then you can actually click down your center mouse scrolling button and click and drag around so you, it's easier so we're just going to make a rough drawing around the gun um, while selecting our solid we're going to make a rough drawing around it doesn't have to be special because it's going to be people aren't really going to be able to see it and um, it's going to be feathered out a bit so and you can always mess with the expansion of the of the mask anyway so it doesn't really matter if it's right on it or whatever so I'm just gonna go roughly around it okay that's look that's fine I mean it's not nothing special just really quick so now we're gonna enable it and you can see it's like really nasty white so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is click M for mask and then go to all the options and we're gonna feather it let's try like 10 uh, let's do Seven, five. I don't know. Five, five looks good for now. We're gonna actually add some glow in a second, anyways. And you can mess with the expansion, you make it bigger. You can make it smaller, so it just highlights like barely anything, like negative one. Doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna make mine zero for now. So now, uh, right now, let's see what that looks like. Like you can see it, but like it doesn't look that good. It just kind of looks plain and blurry, and you want it to look more like glowy if you know what I mean like pop out more so you're gonna search up glow and you're gonna drag your glow onto your solid and you can just mess with this threshold the threshold has different like I don't know it just looks different when you go through so like right now it will look different than when you go to a hundred percent so what we're gonna do see it's like really filled in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change original colors to A and B colors and we get to pick what color we want to glow so let's just make it like a light blue highlighting color kind of so let's do that and then make just a white for our B color. All right, now we have that and we're going to make, I like the threshold on like around, I don't know, we can make it like 20. So that way it has a nice blue highlight to it. And we can uh, mess with the, we can mess with the radius. So if we want the blue to like spread out more or we can have it really tied together, but let's just have it like, I don't know, uh, let's do... That, that looks good about 12 or something and so right now it looks really bold and stuff we want to make it look not as bold so uh, 
let's make the opacity of the mask a little bit down so let's do about 40 percent and let's see how that looks that looks pretty good like obviously it doesn't look amazing like it doesn't look as good as whenever I did it before but it looks good like I just did that in two seconds you guys can obviously be more mess around the settings and be more creative with it or maybe even make it look better so that looks good for now so what we're gonna want to do we're gonna want to duplicate it and put it on all the parts of the kill feed so I'm gonna do control D control D control D so you have four layers and we're just gonna click the position for one of them and then make it go down right on top of where that kill is and then we're gonna go to this next layer click P for position and make it go right on top of the gun and we're gonna go to the last layer click P and then make it go all the way down right on top of the gun All right, so that looks, that looks decent so let's just go back to normal so that that would make that like you see what it does it actually it just makes the kill feed more defined so be, <clears throat> sorry it makes the kill feed more defined so people can see it that doesn't look that good because uh I did it in like two seconds, but you know you can mess around with it, uh, change the threshold. I don't know. You can. Uh, that doesn't even look that good. <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean. But like, you can just mess around with it. Doesn't really matter. Just be creative with it, and that looks pretty good. And you can obviously animate it differently. But that's uh, that's pretty good for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you guys later. And I'm gonna start to do tutorials probably like once every two weeks or something because I'm sorry I've been inactive lately. I've been doing some other stuff, but I'll try to get active again like uploading once a week. So talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.